In this interview, we sat down with Liz Martin, Director of the Department of Defense Business at Amazon Web Services, as part of our series featuring the winners of the DoD's $9 billion Joint Warfighting Cloud Capability Contract. If you enjoy this interview, please like, share, subscribe, and turn on notifications. And if you're interested in being interviewed, please email summer at executivemosaic.com. Hello, and welcome to Executive Mosaic's video interview series. I'm Summer Myatt, and here to speak with me today is Liz Martin, Director of the Department of Defense Business at Amazon Web Services. Liz, thank you so much for joining us today. Oh, thanks so much. Uh, I'm really looking forward to today, Summer. Thank you. So Liz, AWS is one of the awardees on the DOD's Joint Warfighting Cloud Capability Contract. Can you explain the significance of this contract and what it means to AWS to win a spot on it? Absolutely. Uh, the adoption of cloud technologies is critical for maintaining our military's technological advantage. And JWCC will really enable the DoD to fully leverage the capabilities of the cloud to meet current and future mission initiatives. It provides the DoD with the opportunity to acquire cloud capabilities and services directly from the cloud service providers across all the security domains and classification levels from the enterprise all the way to the tactical edge. It also is key to enabling critical warfighter capabilities such as the Joint All Domain Command and Control and the DoD Artificial Intelligence and Data Acceleration Initiative. At AWS, we are honored to have been selected for the JWCC contract and continue our support for the Department of Defense. From the enterprise to the tactical edge, we are ready to deliver industry-leading cloud services to enable the DoD to achieve its critical mission. As the first cloud service provider accredited to support government workloads across the full range of U.S. government data classifications, including unclassified, secret, and top secret, AWS brings nearly a decade of experience supporting the U.S. government's most sensitive workloads. We have a proven track record of helping the DoD deploy cloud services to respond to the needs of the mission, and today, AWS is providing customers in every branch of the military and throughout the DoD with the most innovative, efficient, scalable, and secure solutions. As the DoD continues to modernize the way it supports the warfighter and defends our national security, AWS is committed to supporting its critical mission. So Liz, building on that background of AWS's work with the DoD, what is AWS bringing to the table for JWCC? Well, under JWCC, AWS is ready to address the DOD's requirement for secure, scalable, and compliant cloud services available from the enterprise to the tactical edge. To support the DOD's unique requirements and mission objectives, AWS offers a comprehensive services portfolio and is continuously innovating on behalf of our defense customers to help advance their mission. AWS is architected to be the most flexible and secure cloud computing environment available today. It's backed by a deep set of cloud security tools with over 300 security compliance and governance services and features. AWS also supports 143 security standards and compliance certifications, helping satisfy compliance requirements for virtually every regulatory agency around the globe. And as the digital battlefield continues to evolve, we understand the need for capabilities at the tactical edge, including disconnected, disrupted, intermittent, and limited environments around the world. To support warfighters at the edge, AWS brings solutions with private connectivity and rugged, portable, tamper-evident computer device compute devices, which includes the AWS Snow family. And these devices are field tested for the most extreme conditions and are purpose-built to move petabytes of data offline. Through JWCC, defense customers will have access to AWS's industry-leading cloud services that will enable them to build and deploy critical mission systems enhance security and increase agility while lowering cost. You mentioned the tactical edge, Liz, and I know for commanders to be able to use data to support decision making, they need to be able to access and connect to the cloud wherever the mission demands. How is AWS helping to address the DOD's needs for tactical edge solutions in disconnected and low connectivity environments? As the DoD has shared, the tactical edge is such an important place to be able to support our warfighters and the national security mission. 
Accessing, processing, and sharing data at the tactical edge has become increasingly essential to enabling mission-wide decision-making, whether the mission is a large-scale military operation, crisis response support, or coordinating the transportation of critical supplies and troops. Today, the DoD relies on many military applications that are data heavy and depend on low latency to support critical communications and coordination in the field. However, accessing the cloud capabilities needs to support these applications and large scale data demands in remote environments can be really a challenge. Traditionally, this has meant figuring out how to support or actually build data center infrastructure at the tactical edge while grappling with unreliable network connectivity. To address this challenge, AWS recently announced a new Tactical Edge service called the AWS Modular Data Center. This is a cost-effective, self-contained modular data center solution. It's essentially the size of two shipping containers and comes pre-configured with data center infrastructure, including networking, cooling, and power distribution equipment. To address our defense customers' compute and storage needs, they have the option of using AWS Outposts or AWS Snowball Edge devices within the modular data center. And AWS Outpost is a family of managed solutions that allow customers to extend and run AWS services on premises. AWS Modular Data Center with Outpost Racks is best suited for environments where there is highly reliable connectivity. When defense customers are in locations where networking is limited or unavailable, like in DDL environments, AWS Modular Data Center racked with AWS Snow Family devices allows them to run workloads using a subset of AWS services, even when disconnected. I'd like to emphasize that the AWS Modular Data Center is only available to U.S. government customers under the JWCC contract and is currently supported in the AWS GovCloud U.S. West region and the AWS GovCloud U.S. East region. Liz, I want to ask you about technology. Which emerging technologies do you anticipate will have the greatest impact on defense and national security in the next few years? And where are you seeing opportunities for accelerated tech growth? When AWS started its public sector business in 2010, customers were primarily attracted to cloud for two reasons, to save money and to promote efficiencies by hosting websites on the cloud using cloud storage. These reasons are still important, but today we're seeing defense organizations realizing additional benefits and potential. So now a decade later, they're looking at leveraging the cloud for more advanced technologies to drive further innovation and efficiencies such as AI, machine learning, quantum, in addition to saving money and resources. In time, we expect that virtually every application will be infused with AI and machine learning to help drive mission outcomes, lower costs, save valuable time and more. To get full benefits from machine learning, it's important to have relevant and high quality data to inform those models. For this reason, we recommend organizations create data management strategies that will continuously improve the integrity, access, and security of their data. Another area where we're seeing increased interest from our defense and government customers is in digital twin and large scale simulations. A digital twin is a live digital representation of a system and all of its physical and digital components. It is dynamically updated with data to mimic the true structure, state, and behavior of the system. While the concept of digital twins is not a new one and dates back to the early days of space program, the cloud is making the technology much more accessible so all of our customers can build and run simulations at scale. Organizations no longer need special hardware or in-house enterprise to reap those benefits. For example, AWS IoT Twin Maker is a service that allows customers to build operational digital twins of physical and digital systems. The service creates digital visualizations using measurements and analysis from a variety of real-world sensors, cameras, and enterprise applications. So just as digital twins are becoming more accessible to all types of organizations, so is quantum computing. Quantum computers promise to speed up computational tasks that are beyond the reach of conventional computers. And with cloud, organizations no longer need to be one of the world's largest companies or most advanced research institutions to leverage this powerful technology. A few years ago, AWS launched Amazon Bracket, which enables customers to experiment with different types of quantum hardware. For the first time, Amazon Bracket made it possible to compare different quantum technologies side by side and to switch between them by changing only one line of code. While still in its infancy, we believe that quantum computing has immense potential 
and is something we will continue to invest in as it becomes simpler for organizations to experiment with quantum computing. We encourage our public sector customers to explore what quantum can do for their mission. So Liz, these highly advanced technologies will require highly advanced people to adopt and deploy them. How is AWS helping to develop the skilled workforce needed to support the DoD's cloud-driven transformation? At AWS, we work backwards from our customers to support training and skills development. To help meet the growing demand for individuals with cloud skills, AWS has pledged to train 29 million people around the world with free cloud training by 2025. Understanding the DoD's desire to recruit and hire individuals with emerging technology skill sets, as well as reskill its workforce, AWS offers a number of training and development opportunities to help veterans, military spouses, active duty service members, and DoD civilians build the skills they need to grow their careers within and outside of the military. This includes fellowships, apprenticeships, no-cost training, and other skills development programs. AWS Educate and AWS Restart are two no-cost training programs that are also available to help individuals prep for in-demand careers in the cloud. And one final example is the Amazon Bridge program, which stands for Broadening Research and Innovation for Defense and Government Employees. This program is focused on sharing Amazon's industry best practices and business processes with the military, national security, and federal government communities to enable them to modernize and keep the U.S. safe. Lastly, Liz, security is top of mind for defense organizations today. How is AWS helping government and defense organizations manage and secure their most critical workloads? First, I just want to start by saying that at AWS, security will always be our top priority. AWS has been architected to be the most flexible and secure cloud computing environment available today. Our core infrastructure is built to satisfy the security requirements for military, global banks, and other high sensitivity organizations. AWS uses the same secure hardware and software to build and operate each of our regions. Our service offerings and associated supply chain are vetted and accepted as secure enough for top secret workloads, which benefits all of our customers globally. We have a shared responsibility model with the customer. AWS manages and controls the components from the host operating system and virtualization layer down to the physical security of the facilities in which the services operate. And AWS customers are responsible for building secure applications. We provide a wide variety of best practices, documents, encryption tools, and other guidance our customers can leverage in, develop, in delivering application level security measures. In addition, AWS partners offer hundreds of tools and features to help customers meet their security objectives, ranging from network security, configuration management, access control, and data encryption. AWS's scale allows significantly more investment in security policing and countermeasures than any other large company could afford themselves. For example, lots of CIOs worry about rogue servers under a developer's desk running something destructive or that they don't want running. Today, it's really hard, if not impossible, for CIOs to know how many orphans there are and where they might be. With AWS, CIOs can use tools like AWS Config and resource tagging to see exactly what cloud assets their company is using at any moment. No more hidden servers under the desk or anonymously placed servers in a rack and plugged into the corporate network. When it comes to our defense and government customers, we're seeing them continue to focus on transforming their IT systems and modernizing their approach to addressing increasingly sophisticated digital threats. Recent legislation like the Executive Order on Improving the Nation's Cybersecurity and Defense Guidance like the Department of Defense Zero Trust Strategy further emphasized the need to elevate information security as a core tenet of national security and prioritize the implementation of a zero trust approach. With AWS, our defense customers have access to resources, expertise, technology, professional services, and our AWS partner network that can help them meet compliance requirements and enable their zero trust journey. With the release of the DOD's zero trust strategy and roadmap, AWS applauds the DOD's continued efforts to protect its information enterprise and modernize its approach to cybersecurity. In providing a strategic vision, goals, and objectives, the strategy gives DOD organizations a roadmap to prioritize investments and initiatives to achieve targeted levels of zero trust by 2027. 
To help the DoD with its Zero Trust journey, AWS delivers identity and networking services that provide core Zero Trust building blocks as standard features that can be applied to both new and existing workloads. In addition to providing Zero Trust building blocks, AWS has an extensive network of proven partners that I mentioned before who can help the DoD achieve its Zero Trust goals. Well, Liz, thank you so much for your time today and for all the work you do at AWS. 